hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel that is Damp Chanel's 48th World. I want to thank you all for sharing, liking, um, viewing my video and commenting. Yes, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for doing that as well. But let's get on into why we're really here, okay? But I don't want y'all to forget, hit that notification bell. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me. So let's get on into this here story at um, Atlanta Black Star put out. Came and crossed my uh, video feed. And I was like, oh, I think I better share this one, okay? Give my little opinion about it. And then open up the doors for everybody to come in and comment and put their two cents in on what I said, how I presented it, on the who, what, when, and well, okay? Subject. But Atlanta Black Star breaks it out for us. Tia Berger is over there doing her thing, writing up this article that's titled, Got Her Blushing. K. Michelle admits she wants to sleep with this basketball wise star. Yes, that's Jackie Christie. I'm like, what? Why? Okay, of all the women, she could have definitely exposed who she wanted to sleep with, fondle with, whatever. However, y'all get down. All right. She said Jackie Kristen. So we're going to go on and see what, when, why, and how. And I'm still on the what, why part, okay? We're going into what Tia, Tia Berger had wrote from Atlanta Black Star. She says, it's safe to say singer K. Michelle isn't one for biting her tongue. Over the past years, the Love em, uh, Love em All artist has been extremely open about her sexuality, admitting she's attracted to both men and women. She's even hit on a few of her female love and hip hop castmates in the past, of course, leaving viewers stunned. However, the most recent person named on Kay's sex wish list nearly crashed and burned social media this week. I, I almost, the phone almost slipped out my hand when I read the article. I said, Jackie Christie, oh my, oh my. K. Michelle, 34, confessed she had a fangirl crush. On Basketball Wise of Atlanta star Jackie Christie. Jackie, who's 50 and even wanted to get busy with her. Both reality stars appeared on Wednesday night's episode of Hip Hop Squares when game show host D. Ray Davis made reference to the stars first seen on Love and Hip Hop and Basketball Wise. K randomly blurted out, I want to sleep with Jackie. I've been trying to sleep with Jackie for the past two years, she said as the audience gasped. I invited her to the studio and everything. I just wanted, I just want to try something different. I'm like, K, K, K. All right. Anyway, Christy seemingly blushed and giggled at the singer's remarks and responded, she's so beautiful. Rapper T.I., who also appeared on the game show, hilariously, hilariously chimed in telling K. Michelle, if you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Do not give up. I'm like, T.I., shut your mouth, honey. Just because you're going around here romancing and finessing your wife, which you should have been doing that all along. Don't make you the cream of the crop, king of the South, come out and say anything about two women want to get busy. Because in, in, in any way, they ain't going to try to include you, I'm sure. That's just my opinion. Get with it. All right, getting back to the article. It says, fans, however, had mixed reactions to Kay's TMI. Too much information and desire. All right, Kay wants to F. Every female got her blushing and shit, Jackie ain't know what to say, laugh out loud. She didn't know what to say because she probably got caught by or uh, off guard, okay? Weird flex. That's just mm, all these bad emojis they're giving me. K. Michelle go rub on the corner of the mattress. <laughs> I know that's right. Another commenter wrote, yuck, it's not even about her age, but Jackie don't look like she shaved her cookie anymore. Okay, another commenter said Jackie is a freak. That's why LOL. Oh, hell no. K running. Well, it's good to see K Michelle back in a good mood. Earlier this week, the Crazy Like Me singer dragged reality TV star Black China to pieces for wanting to pursue a music career and call her a fake artist. This industry is the only industry where a okay MF can just walk in without an audition. The 34-year-old singer said during the August 26th episode of Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, this music is something you fight for your whole life. It's not something that you just automatically know that you want to do. 
this be people's last resort. The gift that God gave me, that is not the last resort to your, uh, well, we ain't going to say what it was, but it was like, bleep, 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 bleep. That didn't work. Meaning, oh, Lord, dick sucking, I guess. She's talking about. Anyway, uh, it's out there now. Surprisingly enough, China has yet to respond to K. Michelle insults. It's clear K. has no problem with speaking her mind. And to me, Black China was the best. Silence is golden and it makes the other person work a little harder because it shows them that you're not intimidated by their words. Okay, by their words. Okay, sticks and stones, China told K. Michelle. Sticks and stones. Now, K., you know better, girl, but I know it's all hype. It's just to get everybody to tune in to Love and Hip Hop, see you react, see you not react, see you get all ratchet. I know those are the games, those are the tricks of the trade that keep y'all relevant. Okay, but that's all I had of this uh, video on K. Michelle, keeping it real, speaking her mind, not holding anything back. Yes, but I'm still trying to figure out why, why some people are out there really saying, well, why not? And I'm like, hmm, okay, I haven't been up on watching... Um, I let that go a long, long time ago, and I, I, you know, I catch glimpses of it uh, here and there when it's coming across my social media feed, or I'm skimming through the television, and I'm still like, Jack is still on that show. Like, good lord, <clears throat> does she have nothing else better to do? Like, start more businesses? Um. Create her own show? I'm like, I, I don't understand. When, what I hear Shawnee is trying to get back with Shaq. They trying to get it a second time around, go around. I know he's been on co-producing or executive producer with Shawnee on this basketball wise thing. Oh, excuse me, thing. Um, I just don't know. I'm still just like, I'm gasping. I'm gasping. I'm like, Jackie? I mean, what about Malaysia? What about Evelyn um, Rosado? I think that's her name. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, shoot, I would even go with Jennifer Williams. But Jackie? Ooh, Lord. It's like Jackie's too old to even try to throw up her legs anywhere. But I don't know. I guess different strokes for different folks. Can't not with somebody else's likes. Okay. But anyway, that's all I had for this commentary. My opinion, my spin. Y'all get in them comments like y'all normally do when I'm tearing down uh, one of your faves. And you don't think I got my information accurate enough. But I mean, it is what it is. I just like it. It seems like a sensational story. I feel I want to put my spin on it, give you my opinion. That's pretty much it. It ain't like I went searching for the story or I put it together simultaneously. We're bringing it to you. I got it from another viable source. So, you know, I like Atlanta Black Star. They be killing it along with Atlanta Black Whale. Uh, Atlanta American Black Whale. Yes, those are my two go-to. All right, but I hope y'all enjoyed the commentary. Like I said, like, uh, share, subscribe, and definitely share my videos. And, of course, get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all really feel about me. <laughs> my commentary, whatever you want to share. I share with you all, so I got to take some of the backlash. If y'all don't like some, I got to at least listen to y'all and respond back. Okay? That's what we do here on Deb Chanel's 40s World. And then when I get tired, when the video has played its play or whatnot, and I am just tired of responding back, it seems like nobody's listening to me. When they go, I made this video called uh, I'm a Commentary. I comment about my commentary. I'm a commentary. Oh, is that a word? I'm, I, I shape my and form my own commentary on the show. Let's just put it like that. But I titled a video that I made called I'm a Commentary. All right. Go visit that. All right. But don't get that. If I answer you one or two times, that's pretty much it. I let you speak. 
I spoke back to you. You might have added something else. I might have added something else. And then that's it. We don't have to keep going in and in and in. Okay. But I appreciate you all. Because y'all gave me a like or you came and gave me a click. However you want to say a click and a view. If you want to click. Some of you like it. Y'all subscribe to me. Continue to do so. Some of y'all like, like good comments. Write back good comments to me. I get flattered. Oh, I get the big head sometimes. But I'm like, hey, we're like-minded people. So, of course, we're going to enjoy each other's banter. But anyway, y'all, enjoy the video. Hopefully, if not, continue to come back. You may like something I may be commenting on. All right? And we may be like-minded uh, as we keep going along this journey of making YouTube videos. Okay? Y'all be blessed. And I'll see y'all next time for another video. Bye-bye.